Mm. Yeah, I'm Blair Stone. I'm here at East Marchagee with on the family farm. We're in the medium rainfall zone. Um, predominantly loamy soils to gravelly and some sand plain. So we've got a range of different things that we need to do with our soils with the varying uh, soil types. Um, but obviously we're deep ripping the lighter soils, which is um, the project for this year. Um, yeah, so managing that generally, it's a summer uh, tillage, like a deep ripping and whatnot, or a reefinator on the, on the gravels. So yeah, generally that's done in the summertime, uh, February, March, yeah, get that out of the way then, and then move on. Yeah, so the deep ripping with the Terraland came about as we've got a deep ripping contractor close by in um, Demeter Contracting and um, he's uh, quite enthusiastic about getting a lot of work done around the area. So I've um, seen that machine work and also machines that neighbours have purchased and have been using and, and just looking over the fence, seen great results, uh, probably on more of the lighter sand plain soils. Um, so we kind of got into it in some more loamy soils um, slowly and saw some good results there. So we've continued to try and um, branch out into the different soil types to see how far we can stretch it. Yeah. Yeah, so with my trial I've done four pretty distinctively different soil types. So one is salty soil that's never been cropped before, so yeah, obviously no history there. Uh, some good loamy sands, um, which are usually performing well, but we're just seeing if we can get a bit more out of it. And uh, up to some heavier loamy country that traditionally we wouldn't think would need deep ripping, but we're just seeing how, yeah, how that will respond and and uh, rather than ripping up to those areas and stopping, whether we just do a, an entire paddock like that, if it's um, economical. So we've certainly seen that the, um, the salty source responded really well. Um, it's probably also helped that it, there's been constant rain to flush the, the salts out and whatnot and get a good germination. But uh, aside from the germination, there's definitely a lot more vigour in the stuff that's been ripped with the Terraland. Um, and that's continuing throughout the season and it's kept a lot um, more greener, lower leaves and, and looks a lot healthier. So this year we used the uh, Terraland with the wide delving plates on it, which um, we would have preferred to just go with a standard tine because it's really hard to pull with those delving plates on the heavier soils. So we were finding um, yeah, fuel use was really high and, um, and only doing kind of three or four k's an hour. So when we're getting full contract, it seemed like that's a pretty expensive exercise. So that's why We've gone to the trials so we can figure out that um, even though it's a lot slower and using more fuel and taking more time, that leaving them on actually mixes that soil up really well and leaves it in better condition going forward. Yeah, so I guess uh, going forward, one thing we'd probably change with our management is having a uh, tyre roller or some kind of crumble roller behind because um, what we've found is with the delving plates it leaves quite a, a ridged furrow. It can be quite difficult for seed placement and um, experiences in the past with ripping has generally been however you leave it after the rip it, it <laughs> takes a long time to smooth out so I want to leave that as smooth as possible and the soil types aren't really prone to blowing away so we're not too worried if it leaves the soil a bit bare and um, a lack of stubble, stubble cover. Um, more worried about it just being nice and level and flat and easy to traffic and easy to get the seed placement right. Yeah so the Gen Y project in its second year now I guess has um, been really encouraging seeing a lot of younger farmers getting into it, trying different things and uh, not worrying if it's a stuff up or if it's uh, the best thing ever. It just, um, it's just everyone having a go and um, learning from each other and bouncing around different ideas. Um, yeah, good group of young enthusiastic people. Yeah, looking forward to seeing how obviously our own trials go and also hearing about results from other trials that people have done. Um, generally just looking forward to harvest because it's probably been the highest rainfall year I've ever been home for to date and probably a lot of people really. Um, hopefully everything goes well from this point in August through to harvest and um, everyone has a good year and enjoys it and, uh, and then yeah gets into it again next year. <laughs> Yeah, thanks to the Leiby Group again for organising the uh, Gen Y Challenge. They do a lot of work uh, keeping everyone on their toes, making sure we're uh, not forgetting about it and um, seeing it through to the end. And, and I'm sure um, the results will be helpful for people around the district and, and further.